Hey guys, Silence Zero here. Welcome back to the Utam Across Gacha video. So this time round, aside from the brand new Sharonong Gacha that belongs to the Crossover Life Festival uh, that's going on right now for the month of November. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, all the information about this current Matsuri event is all in my Facebook YouTube page. Link is in the description down below once again. Make sure you guys follow me on my YouTube Facebook page. Uh, make sure you like the page and of course uh, stay updated for all things Utama Cross and maybe even Pokemon Masters if you guys are interested in playing that game as well. Uh, yeah, so this time round we're gonna talk about quite a bit of stuff before we dive into Cheryl's brand new gacha. Um, of course, there is the uh, once per day free pool as well. Uh, sadly to say, that one is just a single episode plate uh, pool. Uh, unlike in the past, we received 10 plate pools for free. This time round, it is just a single episode plate. So it really all counts down to RNG Jesus being kind to you, whether you get those exclusive episode plates from your single free pool. If not, well, I guess you probably have to toss in some cash to buy Singing Stone packs. So let's dive into the discounted packs first which are available in the Singing Stone store um, where we can break down what exactly is available for you to purchase. As you can tell, they all have expiration dates. Um, the standard ABC packs all come with 7 days expiration and of course 2 days expiration for the special Singing Stone pack that comes with, well, a ticket that is for the guaranteed 5 star gacha pool as you can tell here from the image here now the thing is what do you really really want to purchase um from the singing stone stores is actually the discounted packs for a b and c um where you don't have to buy all of them uh, if you have the money of course if you want to support the macross franchise and of course dana for doing such a good job with uh, handling Uta macross you may do so by purchasing all four of the discounted packs but you know uh, that's what that's what I'm here for we're gonna I'm gonna tell you guys which are the packs you're gonna buy because that's probably the minimum amount that you will need um, to get all the wonderful stuff out of the Nyan Kuji so let's take a look at the Nyan Kuji first as you can tell we have the wonderful wonderful pre-evolved illustration plate um, for Min Mei, Cheryl and Makina um, from uh, Mikimoto's illustration for crossover live key art visual tree so if you tap the blue button here you can tell how many list of items there are available in the entire Nyan Kuji of course nine the list nine is the last one and they don't really give you episode plates anymore uh, at the start of list eight and of course list nine but what's so important about list eight and list nine well basically is all what you see in the first four items here uh, or rather below as well if you guys really really know what is important within Utame Cross right now which is all the very hard to obtain items for powering up your episode plates then of course there is the wonderful stuff of secret stone shards as well which will let you unlock an extra page of secret um, uh, of the, the episode plate of your choice uh, you know improving the luck and of course improving the stats if they are of a certain rarity of the episode play itself so what's important from the Nyan Kuji listing itself is up to list 7 which is the 3 exclusive episode plates um, you know for Mikimoto's key art visuals as you can tell there are the evolved versions as well the image if we tap the blue button in the top you know you can see how the episode plate will look like once it's fully evolved you know, so pretty fantastic stuff. Then of course you have to take note of the divas equipable with the episode plate, which is basically the divas feature on the episode plate itself. So looking at the evolved versions of the episode plate, let's um, break down what the episode plates are and whether do you think they are worth your investments of uh, physical cash in buying the Nyan Kuji uh, special discounted packs, uh, or maybe even you know trying your best to obtain those free. Uh, Nyan Kuji tickets that are currently available within the month of November. So 3,269 uh, total score for a fully evolved episode plate with plus 25 luck. You know, being that it is a free event episode plate, um, it is not fantastic in stats as always. Um, this time around, the episode plates are you know specific in terms of the specific stats available on an episode plate, unlike the past few ones that we've seen in the past. 
they're all well balanced around and they can be equipped by all the divas that kind of stuff so these are more specialized episode plates um, that we have seen in the past um, I guess that was regarding let me see what was it what was the episode plate I can't really recall <laughs> what episode plate it was if I do I'll put an image out somewhere around here you know just to have that kind of refresher so now the thing is there's up to less seven that is worth with all the three episode plates now do you actually want to collect all seven listing of episode plates well if you have the money to do so uh, you can um, you know but the thing is what are you going to get out of collecting all the episode plates from uh, list 1 to list 7 basically you're going to get all three variations of the episode plates with plus 5 luck so the the episode plate will give you the kira kira version straight off the bat if you are able to fork out the money and purchase the sing stone packs that will give you the sufficient amount of uh, tickets to pull out all seven uh, listings episode plates all right so if you count you know how many items there are in each listing so from list seven to list um three there are 400 items in each list so that's basically 1200 tickets straight off the bat so list two however is the one with the most items available which is 480 then list one being the least items available which is the most minimum requirement of tickets that you need which is basically list one and list two if you don't if you don't wish to go for a plus luck value on the episode plates just to fully evolve them you just need to clear list one and a bit of list two depending on your luck on how you get the, the three episode plates out with the least amount of tickets available so if we're just counting the bare minimum list one and list two has 680 items in total so that's basically how many tickets you need on the bare minimum well you can actually have um, lesser amount of tickets used because of list two but that really depends on luck we're just going on an average total so 680 just like that plus 1200 tickets um, you know for list 3 onwards to list 7 so 1200 plus 680 so that's you know that's how much you have uh, that you need actually so um, 680 plus 1002 so it's 1880 tickets um, required so how many uh, or rather how many discounted packs do you actually need to buy well if you go back into the discounted store all right and you see how many tickets actually comes with the discounted packs you only need 1880 um so the you basically if you purchase set c which gives you 2400 singing stones plus 2400 autumn spheres and 160 tickets you know that's that's definitely not enough um okay so 160 tickets definitely will cover you slightly with um you know the first list alone you know, if it, and the thing is each of these packs can only be purchased once so even if you buy all three that's um you know 100 from a and b alone you know so it's 260 in total so 260 alone will just cover you on list uh list one you know you're still short of for list two um and if you guys are familiar with the anniversary style and new, new year's uh, version of Nyan Kuji, there will always be around two of discounted singing stone sales so guys it is gonna get expensive but you are definitely gonna get a buttload of singing stones for your kujis uh, and of course you have a lot a lot of autumn spheres um, for your chaos exchange uh, which we'll talk about shortly so guys do, should you invest in all three discounted singing stone packs i mean if you can afford to and you wish to support the franchise uh, wholeheartedly uh, please do so but if not i will always recommend you to purchase the most expensive one which is the 10,000 yen um, singing stone pack which is set c um you know because um 160 tickets it's a pretty decent amount if you work hard throughout the entire month of november getting those free tickets from events uh, and of course through missions and all this kind of stuff you will definitely be able to collect enough to clear at least up to list two uh, which is really the bare minimum that you should be doing um, of course 
you know that is if you could afford the discounted packs as well please do not be um do not feel obliged to purchase any of these 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 are there just for you if you can support of course make sure you do not eat into your own personal expenses for daily living uh for food for travel that kind of stuff for work you know uh, make sure you you just fork out in what you you can afford all right so as for the special set that is this one which is the two days um you know it's really up to you because if you go into the koji page you know the the guaranteed episode plates may not be that fantastic to pull in fact we've seen most of them before as you can tell these are the six uh, episode plates being featured um of course we can take a look at all of them you know just to see whether they are actually worth the the, the three thousand yen or so um, just purchasing that special set itself. So looking at Makina's episode plate, you know, 3,620 is pretty to a decent total score. But the main thing is we need to see whether they come with special notes. So my guess is most of the episode plates don't actually come with special notes attached to them. So they are pretty okay to have. You know, I, I'm, I'm, still I'm still planning ahead to do that uh, tiering video. So the only one out of the uh, six episode played here that is worth actually is uh, the Basara and Milane's uh, flashback episode played. So yeah, so is it actually worth it? I, I, I would say definitely not. So you can actually skip out on this one. Um, uh, after all, it doesn't come with Nyan Kuji tickets, which is kind of a bummer. Um, the, the discounted pack is just basically to give you more singing stones which is 500 now of course you get your 250 autumn spheres plus that guarantee five star episode plate i mean if you're a new player definitely this singing stone pack will be within your alley you know but for us uh, older players who have been playing the game since the beginning of wutai macros until now um, this discounted pack might not do you any good or uh, well because um, there are better episode plates you can invest your money into when they return in gacha form. So yeah, so if you're looking at all the entire discounted packs here, this is a pretty hefty sum. That's that's almost like 210 US dollars right there on just one day. So if there's round two, you're gonna end up spending about 420 US dollars. Um, you know, just on discounted singing stone packs, that's that's a lot of money. Uh, even I myself do not have that kind of cash to invest in all three singing stone packs. So guys, please spend wisely if if you can afford to do so. Um, what my recommendation is, basically the bare minimum, is to just purchase the 10,000 yen discounted pack and be contented with it. Um, you know, with two rounds of 10,000 yen, that's basically 320 um, Nyang Kuji tickets, um, which which is pretty decent amount. I, I don't know how many tickets we'll be getting in total for free, but if you're looking at the missions, uh, once again, if you guys have followed me on my YouTube Facebook page, you would know I've already translated the missions for this time round. Um, you know, the crossover the crossover missions are going to be continuous throughout the entire month of November. But sadly to say, they they come at a very big cost. Um, because the missions that are currently available, which is for the Freya event, uh, eventually when Mikumo's costume for crossover life comes out, they will release another set of missions that's going to be for Mikumo's costume because the current events are all related to Freya's crossover life costume known as crossover passion so basically you have to equip Freya with that costume and uh, in order for you to get that costume you have to go through the paid gacha which is currently available like we did in the last video where we put Freya's costume or rather Freya's gacha uh, in order to try and obtain her episode plates so Yes, if you do have episode plates that give you points for Freya's costume and it allows you to use your episode ops to unlock the costume, this is where uh, Dana kind of forces you to do so because you need to have Freya equipped with that costume. You don't necessarily have to obtain her episode plate. You just need to unlock her costume, make her wear it and play those specific songs once again all the info is on my facebook youtube page make sure you guys follow me on that page as well for all things utan and cross so anyways guys um with all this said let's now move on to 
the Chaos Exchange page because uh, we're going to talk about one of the other reasons why investing in the discounted singing stone packs now is a pretty okay thing to do because it's going to it's going to grant you Nyan Kuji tickets at the same time they're going to grant you this Autumn Sphere um, which is going to end on the 15th of December for exchange so that's pretty long way but the problem is the expiration for the spheres is on a different date so if you do if you do uh, purchase the singing stone discounted packs right now and you get autumn spheres your spheres will expire on the 30th of november so it's the end of the month so that's uh that's, that's the other thing you need to take note of so why is it important to or rather why is it okay or a good thing to have those autumn spheres well basically because there is a new um christmas decor set that is available look at that it's just it's just adorable there is like the snow the snowman um uh what do you call this mere cat <laughs> then we got freya and hayate then you got a snow machine that hayate brought for freya's birthday yeah of course there's this there's this snow igloo kind of thing a shovel and of course yeah i mean if you're if you're the kind of collector that like i am i always purchase the the the, the special set for the decor room whenever every month comes around um, because every month I actually do invest in singing stones to, to do gacha videos for you guys and all that kind of stuff at the same time I'm supporting the game so yeah so if you have extra uh, autumn sphere you know it's fine because you know autumn spheres are also used to exchange for radars for the red boss event at the end of the month so if you do have extra of it it's always good to have on hand if you want to do better during the red boss event uh, which I will be making a video about again, you know, about how I think the current Red Boss event is like, you know, after being having implemented uh, new things to the Red Boss event itself. So look forward to that video. All right. So all that said, let's move on to the actual gacha, which is what this video is all about. Finally, after talking for over 20 minutes, close to 20 minutes, we are moving on to it uh so all right so all things aside let's go down to this thing which is um cheryl's brand new gacha so as you can tell there are two different banners one is for the once per day free pool so i will be doing a separate video for that like as old like i always do whenever there's free gacha pools i will do a separate gacha video for free pools alone so we're going to uh, take a look at Cheryl's brand new episode plate and we're going to break down the stats to see whether it's actually worth the money or not. Uh, my guess is all the gut, uh, all the episode plates for during this crossover live event um, are going to be roughly the same in terms of stats and abilities. Um, it's just that you have to pay attention to who are equipable with this episode plate. So for Cheryl's episode plate, Mikumo is the only other diva that can equip this episode plate. So as you can tell, we started off on this page. So no special notes attached to this episode plate at all. Um, you know, the, the stats are showing us the plus 25 luck value. So 3610, that's not the highest we've seen so far. You know, considering that this is a paid gacha uh, for 3610, it's pretty mediocre. You know, it's an episode play that features on Charm. You know, pretty nice stats on Soul and Voice as well. We've seen lower than this with 600 plus. So center skill A rank. So we know that Cheryl's episode plate is not going to be a center episode plate that's going to help you for high score. It's going to be a support episode plate. So let's skip on the the skills for the center because it's not really that important. Active skill. Well, for 7 seconds, your combos do not break. It's pretty okay. Not the best active skill once again. So, yeah, it's looking very, very mediocre. I really don't know. I don't really think that you should invest your actual money into obtaining this episode plates. And they are pretty okay, but not a must to have. Um, life skill S rank score repeat. So Cheryl's episode play is meant for long duration pink element songs or love element songs, whichever you want to call it by as usual. So pretty decent episode play. I mean, if you have episode plays that are better than this, uh, you definitely can decide to skip on it. But of course, if you're a Cheryl known fan, um, she is the number one diva selected by um, you know the um, recent Macross 
uh, the entire Macross series uh, voting yeah, what was it called again I can't remember the title of the show <laughs> that was so long ago uh, okay so yeah Sharon o is the number one diva as selected by fans uh, then of course the episode plates from this series comes with costume points for or rather Valkyrie points for the VS a VF1S that belongs to Fokker uh, as you can tell this is a Scout Leader version so yeah so this is a brand new Valkyrie if you guys are wondering so my guess is all the episode plates are going to unlock this particular Valkyrie so what are these episode plates for yes they are definitely there to give you some kind of support in terms of score um, you know but they are mostly there to unlock this Valkyrie and give you lots of episode ops so if you get multiple copies of different Divas um, episode plates throughout the crossover live event, if all of them are going to give you episode plate, uh, episode points for this Valkyrie VF1S, you're going to end up with lots of episode ops, which is going to be used to unlock costumes from the regular gachas that feature the key art one costumes, uh, just like Freya's uh, crossover passion costume. So yeah, so. If you have bought the Singing Stone packs and you don't really want to pull too many of these because maybe somehow or rather your luck is pretty good from the free daily pulls, you manage to get the featured uh, episode plates from the single pool itself, um, then definitely you might want to use your Singing Stones to invest into the regular gachas to give you um, a less expensive choice of unlocking the featured uh, Divas costumes which is required to clear the missions. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. So yeah, so but anyways, I am here to do these explanations and I'm here to bring you joy by watching me suffer going through all these gacha pools. So here it is, I'm gonna do a single template pool of Cheryl Gnome's uh, crossover live key art visual 2 costume, uh, or rather episode plate. So let's, let's see how terrible I will end up being <laughs> in this video uh, I hope it doesn't end up too badly okay we do get a bit of a decent loading there it's not the long kind uh, usually the long ones mean that we do hit the exclusive episode plate I don't know so three Valkyries pretty nice visual effect we get two red boxes off the bling oh wow Okay, so we do get a rainbow box with four red boxes, so there is a chance that the red boxes will evolve. Oh, and here it is, Mikumo evolving the first box. Oh, oh, okay, so we do get an old episode plate, uh, Min Mei's one. So if I recall correctly, this is one of Min Mei's most decent episode plates, so that's not too bad. Uh, here we go, the, gu uh, the guaranteed rainbow, and of course, we get the featured episode plate for Cheryl, so I'm pretty okay with it. Uh, I'm not a big Cheryl fan, so that's. But it's still nice to have uh, costume points for the VF1S, so that's pretty pretty sweet in, 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 in its own way. So we get some Basara love. All right, and here we go, the last red box. So no evolution on the other two boxes, so that's that's pretty fine. Alright, so if not wrong, oh, oh, there's one more. Oh, lots of Macross 7 love though. <laughs> Alright, so pretty decent pool. There we go, we get um, the Valkyrie points for the VF1S. So eventually I will be able to unlock it. Uh, of course, Min Mei's episode plate, since I have a fully evolved version, it unlocks the secret board, so that's pretty nice as well. Uh, four more to go to get it, Kira Kira. Alright, so here we go guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I think the evolved version of this episode plates, the image is not, I mean, not any different. So here you go, you can have a full look at um, uh, Risa Abata's version of Cheryl in Key Art Visual 2 for my Cross Cross Over Live 2019. Alright, so there it is. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, had better pools than I did. I know I know someone in the Uta Macrosuma Phone Day Culture group pulled three copies of the Cheryl Gnome episode plate with a single first pool. Uh, I mean like the discounted 300 stone pool. 
you know who you are <laughs> hopefully you watch my video uh, of course let me know in the video comments uh, what do you guys think about the entire crossover live um, marketing you know is it too harsh or is it you know is it just okay um, you know it's not like other mobile games where they literally slaughter their fans for money I mean Utah Macross does do it but it doesn't seem that extensive in its own way uh, and of course after all it is still our choice to actually invest our own cash into the game but of course like I say please support the game in your own means and of course, once again, let me know if you appreciate all the content by hitting a like button to this video. Share the content to all your friends who are still playing Utah Macross and make sure they are up to date as well, just like you. And of course, I will see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, guys, bye!